This is a demonstration of the Mimex number no. 1 created by Trevor F. Smith and Sparks Webb. We're going to do a quick tutorial and learn the wonders of trails. And the first thing we'll do is simply grasp the metal lever and flick it to the right. Jogging the lever to the left will move me back, so if I get into trouble, I can just keep jogging the lever until I'm back where I want to be. The numbers in the bottom left of this page are links to other pages that I can jump to from this page. For example, on the right screen, there's one link, and it is link number one, and the document it links to is ID number 73. Because there's only one link, I know if I jog to the right, I'll just follow that link. I can also follow a link by entering its index number and pressing the link button. So because there is one link here, I know that its index number is 1. So I will press 1 and then right link, and that will follow the link. I can also jump directly to a page if I know its ID number. So for example, this page has two links out of it that goes to document number 75 and document number 76. So I'm going to enter 76 and write go, and that will take me to the second link. So that is jogging, linking, and direct jump. If I want to go to the beginning of the trail that I'm on right now, I simply press the start button. I can also go to the end, of taking the default path through a trail by pressing the end button. You can see on this document on the left that there are three outgoing links. I'm going to see what is on the second link. So I will press two left link. And you can see I've now loaded that document onto the right screen and it is a trail about Dr. Vannevar Bush, the person who thought of the Mimex. There's only one outgoing link, so I know it's the default outgoing link, so if I jog to the right with the lever, I'll follow that link. And you can see in this case, it's the Mimex. Now, there are no links coming out of this document, so if I jog to the right, you can see that I'll get an error sound. So let's go back to the beginning and then follow the third link off of this page. So 77, right go. So in that case, I loaded that document using its ID number onto this screen. And this is a trail about longbows. So let's jog right and learn more about longbows. And again, I know I'm at the end of the trail because there's no link coming out of the right document. So let's go back to the beginning. So that's all fine, following trails that have been created previously. But let's create a couple of new documents. First of all, this is the Life magazine in which, as we may think, was originally published. That is the article that originally described the mimics. Here is the original picture in Life magazine of the mimics. So let's go ahead and create a document of that picture. Now when I take this picture, it will appear on this screen, and it will be appended to the trail currently appearing on the right screen. To create a document, first I turn on the lights, and then I press the gas button, Now that the camera is ready, I can put the document on the platen and press the capture button. Now I've captured the document. As you can see, it was appended to the trail that I was already on. And say I wanted to add another picture, maybe the Mimex in use, I would simply put that on the platen. Press the capture button again. And I can continue creating a trail like that. If 
I'm not satisfied with one of the pictures that I've taken, I can simply press the delete page button and that will delete the image that's in the right screen. Now we're back at the beginning. So now you've learned how to follow links, to follow the default trail with the lever, and how to create new pages and have them appended to the end of the trail. And that concludes our demonstration.